Hey everyone, it's Ryan, and this is a sketch for Switcher's extra credit specifically around organizing your layer styles in the appearance palette. Now, if you want to start with your file as exactly you see it here, then I've made that available on my Patreon. Uh, I'm just going to upload this as a post. You should be able to go and grab it there. Um, you're welcome to support me uh, or not. There's no pressure don't feel like you have to give money. Learning is free, at least here and now. <laughs> um, okay, so I want to talk to you about some things. If you left off in the last lesson about styling, strokes and fills, then you probably have this style set up keyboard in blue. Well, these are all keyboard in blue, and it's very easy for me to potentially revert them. If I say reset layer style, I'm going to lose my cool angular gradient color effect here. So the way to take a bunch of objects and unassociate them from a style or any one object is to select it and go to detach from layer style. Now I can do that with all at once, select them all. And you can see even if one has been detached, if there is a style associated, I can go ahead and say detach from layer styles. Well, that's all well and good, but I want to show you a little tip and trick around organizing your layer styles. Assuming you're going to make a whole app or a whole website or maybe even a you know PDF or something that you're going to give out to a client or make available for download. So anything you're working on, there's going to be a lot of appearances. So let's quickly add up a bunch of appearances and organize them. So I'm going to create a bunch of appearances. I'm going to take all these. I'm going to get rid of that keyboard. You can see if there's something in common. Something different becomes a we don't know. Something in common looks the same. Just going to drag off that keyboard. There you go. That's not there. This is a clean as style as we can. And if you have like an image fill like that, this will help you reduce file sizes, getting rid of those extra fills. Now let's make a bunch of styles. I'm going to go to Organize Layer Styles, and we have this, and I'm going to shorten up this menu so you can see it a little bit better here. You can click and rename your layer styles, but I'm going to use this minus and get rid of Keyboard and Blue. It's not there anymore. It's not in the dropdown. And now I'm going to make a bunch. So I'm going to create a new layer style, Blue Dash. There's Red Dash. There's Teal Dash. Light Blue pink, and lime. I guess I could have done yellow, but I quite like that lime. So now every time you go to pick something in your document, this dropdown is going to become longer and longer the more styles you have. And I've had documents that literally have dozens upon dozens of styles in them. You'd be surprised how quickly you can spin up a bunch of styles. Well, in that organized layer styles, there's a really easy way to stay organized. And that is by adding slashes to the names of these styles. And this works in multiple things in Sketch. Uh, it works for exporting things. It'll create folders. It works for uh, textiles and symbols, all stuff that we can talk about in more advanced lessons. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to organize these by cool and warm colors. In fact, why don't I do this first? I'm going to take this lime. I know I said I like it. I'm going to just warm it up a little bit. There we go. And Lime, I'm going to update. There we go. So now I'm going to close that. Look at that open thing. I'm going to go to Organize. First thing I'm going to do is Lime isn't Lime anymore. So I'm going to call it Yellow. Dash Style. And now I'm going to put a word with slash in between. So I'm going to organize them by Cool and Warm. So I'm going to say Cool, Space, Slash, Space. And I do spaces. You don't have to. Cool. I'm going to copy and paste it. Cool. And teal is cool. And pink is warm. So I'm going to do warm slash. And I mostly the spaces around the slash are for my own sanity. I can read them a little bit easier that way. So now I have three cool, three warm slash. So I'm going to hit done. And now when I go to pick the style of an object, you can see a few things have changed here. Number one, 
I have two drop downs. So now I have cool and warm styles that I can toggle between. And number two, when I do pick a color, in the drop down, all of the colors in the same category are available. So now if I really quickly see here, there's not a shared because this is warm. So I'm gonna make these all cool teal. And now I'm like, oh, I just want a couple other cools. So I'm gonna quickly turn this into teal and blue. And I want these to be warm. So first I'll pick a warm and yellow and red. So that is a great way to stay very organized and make sure you have a really understandable file. If you're working in a team, you're going to hand this off, or you're just working on a large project and you want some sanity, um, <laughs> this helps a lot. And you bet you can go drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down, and really go crazy. You can nest this as many times as you want, or at least I haven't hit <laughs> a limit before. I'm sure there is a limit. Um, and things are in alphabetical order, P, R, Y, here, B, L, T, mmm, delicious. Uh, <laughs> not intentional, just delicious. So organizing your layer styles can be a really important thing and really powerful in your workflow. And I'm gonna save out a version of this with the layer styles organized so you can play with that as well. And those will all be on the Patreon. That is patreon.com slash whatever Ryan Q. Uh, the link is in the description. You'll find it. Okay, that's it, and I'll see you next lesson. <laughs>